hi again and today we are going to learn about events and observers I have collected couple of things that I need to cover in this course first thing will be again the areas and then how we can dispatch events and simultaneously how we can observe events but there is one more thing that is from the dev docs of Magento and I'll be including that and that is publish subscribe pattern now before going on event and observers I just want you to understand what is uh, this design pattern or observer design pattern <coughs> so ideally what happens is um, in general we have one source or one file or one class that triggers something and then other class that listen uh, the trigger that has been generated by some other class so in Magento as well we have various events for example we have add to cart and whenever you perform add to cart or click on add to cart button that is an event so based on that event uh, Magento observes that and then reduce the quantity from uh, from the inventory in case or place order is an event and after that Magento triggers a email sending functionality you can you can think lot of things uh, as events and observers simultaneously there may be uh, various cases where you can use plugins uh, and event observers are not suitable at that particular place that we will be discussing in the next lecture but understand events and observers in a manner that uh, one class is triggering something uh, for example its place order event is triggered now other class will listen that particular event I'll listen uh, order is placed then I'll uh, I'll send emails I'll reduce the inventory I'll do something promotional and let's say if my customer place first order I need to change their customer group uh, to make them from general customer to loyal customer or uh, there, there can be a lot of things so hope this is clear to you that what what is event and what is observer now in uh, in design pattern terminology or in software engineering this pattern is used at uh, at such scenarios where we have to observe uh, various events and based on those events we have to modify or add certain functionality and in most of the cases if you need to uh, change some variables or change some data in that particular case you won't be using uh, observers in that case you will be using plugins but uh, if you are going to add a separate functioning based on some event then only you will be using event observers now again let's go to this thing publish subscribe pattern now if I click on this and uh, I think it will take me to Wikipedia and to understand this again public publish and subscribe pattern is similar to triggering and observing the events publish is trigger and subscribe is observing so do not program the message to be sent directly to yes so in in this particular case what happens uh, publisher is sending some message and subscriber is uh, receiving some messages uh, so we have publish and we have subscribe this is a very high level overview just to bring the understanding so publisher will uh, send some messages and subscriber will receive messages now publisher is not bound to uh, to set that which subscriber should listen uh, or read the message that it has sent and simultaneously the subscriber is again not bound from which particular subs uh, publisher it should uh, receive message or it should listen message so whenever a publisher sends a message there may be more than one or two or like ten or thousand subscriber that can listen to that particular message from certain publisher and uh, can perform their functioning and simultaneously a subscriber can uh, listen message from various publishers but uh, in our case we will only use our subscriber our subscriber is here a synonyms of our observer so we will use our observer 
to only listen to a particular publisher which again in our case is event so publisher is our event and the subscriber is our observer it's it's in an, a high level it, it should not be taken as as a adjective here but it's it's really very on it's on high level now what happens is uh, in magento we have let's say place order functioning so there may be more than one observers that will be observing that particular event and performing their functioning but uh, one observer we will try to use only for one one event because we have uh, we have a concept in magento that that shares the responsibility of a particular class and in which we only target that our class should be responsible for only one work and uh, this is why our observer uh, should only listen to one particular event now if we go to magento um, i have created a boilerplate for my event observer and today what we are going to do is uh, this is my magento that uh, we installed together and let me go to create an account on front end i'll create an account here I'll now i i have made something wrong declare an abstract or implement oh okay okay the thing is i was creating the observer and i just commented this code so this is why it's giving me the error and i should be removing this for now i think oh sorry i think i should be removing these both Now if I go to my customers uh, uh, R plus 2 ID malfunction because we stopped the execution in mid and So we should be considering now this uh, Sora plus three is our count. In backend we have okay I have Sora plus three. This uh, the customer group is general and we will try to change it to wholesaler. I have already tried this one so you can see Sora plus one for this particular lecture. So our target is. Uh, we will be changing the customers group when they are going to register but you will face various scenarios in your uh, real life projects where you will be changing customers group mostly when they perform their first order or their hundred order you, you change their customer group to give them more discount you make them uh, loyal customer you make them VIP customer and so on so this this will be our target and now for achieving this first of all let me take you to this route.xml file that we created in our earlier lecture i want you to focus on uh, this config node once and simultaneously i have prepared this event.xml file uh, which will be responsible for listening to our event but in our route.xml file we have the config node and then xml namespace uh, xsi which will be same in our events.xml file as well and then schema location this schema location will be different here in route.xml we have framework inside framework we will have app etc routes.xsd and here we will have event uh, etc events.xsd so this is kind of a homework for you you can go to let's say framework app etc routes.xsd then let me go to this and magento vendor oh, i'm sorry vendor magento framework 
app mm, where was it app then etc routes dot xsd etc and then we have this route routes dot xsd so here is the definition for this particular routes file uh, how this route should be configured and how these routes merge with each other and this is my merged route file and simultaneously same thing goes for events.xml and other di.xml that we are going to create in future so i just wanted you to know that uh, the config node is really very important the uh, this uh, till here it will be throughout uh, the xmls it will be same but uh, this schema location will change depending upon the role of that particular xml so now if for our today's case event observers we will be creating a events.xml file and in events.xml again we define this names uh, namespace and then our schema location that that is uh, default for every event.xml file then we have defined two observers uh, event node is for defining the observer here we have the events name that will be uh, triggered or I should say this is the event name which this observer will listen so then again we gave that observer a particular name this should be unique for each observer and the instance is the class for that particular observer so we have created a class in our observer folder uh, change customer group ID and this is my class and we gave this observer the name customer register and uh, simultaneously we have uh, observe customer register success event and once this event is triggered we will be changing the customers group id to 2 which is my wholesale customer that i want to achieve for instance i'll be removing this and give me a second let me take you to this section where we have customer groups <coughs> So I just found that uh, from this listing page I found what is my group ID for wholesale customer group this is 2 so I define the customer group ID here I'll, uh, I'll first show you how this works and then I'll uh, give you better understanding on the code again just to be ensured my caching is flushed and now I'll go to create an account I'll be creating an account for or a plus one email but somehow my local host is not responding properly oops now I will go to my admin section and I'll see for my customers voila we have this Sora plus 4 we change the customer group here and what we have done here is we created a event.xml file we uh, listen that uh, customer register success event which is default triggered by Magento we create an, an observer with this class and we listen that event now in our observer uh, I'll share two classes with you uh, in which this class is really very important which will be the implementation of all the observer that we are going to create in Magento I created a constant just for the sake of oops concept and the class structure I created a property here and in my constructor I created a I loaded a dependency and that that is passed in my uh, in my constructor argument and in my execute function which is the default function that will be called when a observer is triggered I fetch the event again uh, when my customer customer register success event is triggered all the information related to that event will be received inside this observer class so I took that uh, as a parameter from this I fetch the event and then get the customer I 
get the customer group id if the customer group id is one then i set the customer group id to this group id which i defined in constant and then uh, in my customers repository i call the save method which is used for saving data into database and that's how my customer group is changed for this particular customer now in magento this event was already uh, dispatched or fired but uh, there may be various scenarios where you have custom modules and you have to dispatch new events how you can do that for that we have done some change in our index.php controller and this is my index.php controller uh, we have echo statement here in our earlier lecture but I just crea uh, created a string here and then I use the event manager class this is the next class that is really very important for us uh, for this if from this event manager uh, I called a function named as dispatch in the dispatch function first I pass the events name I created a random event name for my module and with this we can pass an array of data now I dispatch the event from my index function and in my events.xml I observe that uh, event for my observer which is named as my observer and inside my observer.php I created a file my observer.php and again I don't need the constructor here but in my execute method I uh, I just uh, call the observer class and then from that I just get the data which is my event data which I passed from here I just took this example because sometimes we have to pass some data uh, into our observers and then utilize it into the observer so from here I'm dispatching an event with some data you can change your data here you can add send multiple data and then in your observer you can get that data and our index.php file will be called using I think Magento we have the front name as Litovay and then index index should be default and this is the testing here I have this as testing I changed it testing sm and let me refresh testing sm so in from my controller I'm dispatching an event and observing in into my observer and echoing what what was the variable path I can perform my logical operations in here and uh, can achieve some functioning and uh, now let me go to uh, the pointers that I need to discuss first thing is the area for events again as discussed in a previous lecture the areas are really very important for Magento because Magento merge all the XML when a customer loads the front end of website so when the front end is loaded so only the XML for the front ends are loaded not the back end or the clone one uh, in order to optimize the performance so you will see that our event.xml file is created inside frontend folder because we want this event to be triggered in frontend only but for uh, some events that are related to orders you may need to uh, either trigger them uh, either set them in admin html folder from here you can create a folder parallel to this frontend folder or event.xml can be directly pushed into etc folder which will be applicable for all the uh, for all scopes and one thing to note here is Magento has service contract concepts and lots of APIs are there you will see that most of the time Magento's event.xml file are in the areas only and this is why sometimes when you're going to call certain APIs your events are not getting called because they are not in their API uh, area if Magento has created their event.xml directly inside etc folder they would have been called into the APIs, the crones everywhere but they don't need this they have their observer for the front end and admin html separately so area concept is clear to you we have five types of areas front end admin html soap underscore rest soap uh, sorry rest api and the soap apis and then the crone tab now again uh, dispatch manager so this is uh, really very important because this is the class which is actually used in Magento for dispatching an event in our index uh, index controller we haven't used this because this has already been 
our class has already been extended using app action action which internally has this uh, dependency so we directly use that but uh, one must know that from where we are able to dispatch new events and the observers you will see that when we work with our observers we have used this class because uh, by this class only we will be able to uh, get other details uh, our implementation of observer should always depend on them to comply with Magento's core functioning well that was all for events and observer hope this concept is clear to you most of the time we will be using events and observers only to customize the core features of Magento but sometimes we will be using plugins and other uh, possible techniques which we are going to discuss in further lecture or their respective lectures and uh, well that was all thank you thanks for listening bye